John Bennett with Logic Pro X. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to chop up an acapella and create loops out of the different pieces so you can use them in your remixes and whatever you want to. Uh, oftentimes, I won't even bother creating loops. But um, right today, what I'm going to do is, is chop up War With God by Ludacris and save some of these because some really good like one-liners and stuff you can use in remixes. I will tell you that I haven't seen this very often, but in another video, I showed you how you bring in the regular song get it matching your grid and then you bring in the acapella and line it up with the grid but for some reason the acapella was not the same as the the tempo from the original song so in a normal circumstance you bring it in and use the time and stretch machine to match your grid with the song you note the original BPM and you stretch this the same amount it didn't work it came in way too fast so I had to keep using time and stretch machine to reduce it by one BPM so I got it lining up. So I've got it lining up now. Here you go. I'm the best and there's nothing that you can do about it. Never needed a public. Okay. So now I can just mute the um the actual song and I'm just playing with the acapella. Let's go. Look, I'm the best and there's nothing that you can do about it. No, it's not a um studio acapella, but it's still good enough. So what you want to do is chop the pieces that you need here. I'm gonna get rid of this track down here. That was another acapella that I got that, that didn't work at all. So I chopped it right here on the five. And I'm just going to get this first phrase here. Let's go. Look, I'm the best and there's nothing that you can do about it. No. Just chop right here. So I got that piece, right? I'm going to bounce in place. And I'm going to call it um, the best. And it's going to bounce that for me. And the reason I have to bounce it, I have to bounce this little piece so I can bring it into Apple Loops Creator. And um, we'll go through the song and I'll pick out portions. So now that I have that, I hit Shift W on my keyboard. That is something you have to set up in your preferences to. Um, here, I'll show you real quick. Preferences. And then under Audio and audio file editor and then you just um, click here and point it to the Apple Loops utility. Now when I click this bounce that I just made hit shift W go ahead and note how many eight counts it is or how many beats it's one and a half eight counts or, or three bars so that's 12 beats. Toggle to looping change this to 12. Now what I'm going to do now is save this in my um, in my vocals folder, little I, I keep like a whole collection of these, um, and they're also indexed by Logic. So I go under vocals. I'm the best. Boom, save. And I'm just going to con continue on through the song and pull out the things that I want to sample that I'm going to use. Never needed a publicity stunt. Let's tell the truth about it. He uh, I don't know about that. Even in the core of the streets, you can't sway the youth about it. But keep running your mouth and I swear I'm going to knock a tooth about it. Yeah, I got to have that. So. But keep running your mouth. Again, bounce in place. Give it a name. It doesn't really matter. When you're bouncing in place, you can you don't even have to rename it, but it saves you a, a step once you go into the Apple Loops utility. You don't have to do it. So that's um, two bars, one eight count. This is a this will trick you. So go ahead and make sure you're selected on the on the one you want to play with or you want to convert. Keep running mouth. Now, I'm not going to bore you with going through the whole song, but let me show you what happens. I go over to my Apple Loops utility, re-index all loops. By the way, if you're wondering where I'm saving those and how to do this, I'll show it in, in another video. And I also go into more detail on our website, logicprox.net. And you would want to sign up to be a VIP member if you really want to go deeper into remixes and stuff. So while we're waiting this to index, it should pop up here in just a second. I got a lot of loops, so it takes a minute. If all went well, I go over to my loops, I go to my vocals, 
and I'm the best. Let's go. Look, I'm the best, and there's nothing that you can do about it. Now that'll that'll you can pop that into any mix. It's gonna match your grid perfectly. So that's a pretty cool tip. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.